What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a quiz that has one either weird or unknown fact about all 30 NBA teams. Let's see how good we do, man. Before we get into it, I got to do my shout out to the day. But let's get into the video. All right, so obviously there's 30 questions for 30 NBA teams. 10 minutes should be more than enough time. And as you can see at the bottom, we haven't taken it just yet. Normal standard. Let's get into it, man. Indiana Pacers. The Pacers didn't make the playoffs. Any of the nine seasons the ABA was around, what was the their record in the ABA Finals? I know close to nothing about the ABA. Like, literally. The only thing I know different is that they play with a basketball that had more than one color. That's the only thing I know about the ABA. So this, I'm going to say they were 5-0. and no. No, okay, yeah, I, I know nothing about the ABA. Maybe that's something I, sh I should look into, but I like NBA, okay? NBA. ABA wasn't even long, around long enough for me to even learn about it. Boston Celtics, who was the third leading scorer um, for the Celtics in the 2008 Finals? I'm guessing it was KG, because even though KG was an all-star, he wasn't known for, like, scoring crazy numbers when like paul pierce was the number one option that ray allen was also very very good at scoring the ball kg was more defense of course he could score it's not i'm not saying he was a bad scorer but the other two were scores you know kd brought kg brought like the intensity the defense so let's say it was kevin garnett and it was all right the Atlanta hawks of these four players whose number has been retired by the hawks whose number was the lowest definitely bob had it a uh, single digit number who was the Warriors franchise leader in three-point percentage? Now, though we look at KD and Klay Thompson as great shooters, which they are, somebody on this list here in this corner has a better three-point percentage than them, and that's Anthony Morrow. Shout out to Klay Nazibuki. I haven't heard that name in such a long time, but it is Morrow. That was basically what he did. That's his job. Shoot the three ball, and he did it really, really well. True or false, the Timberwolves have only made the playoffs during one Eight year stretch, yes, but that's changing this year. Obviously, they're gonna make the playoffs, which which is good for them. I think it was 2003, right? 2003, KG led them to the playoffs, but other than that, they, they haven't made it. But 2018 is their year to make the playoffs. Who holds the Rockets record for most rebounds in a single season? Wow, look at that. Look at the Rockets big man. That's let you know they have some great big man in their um organization history. But I'm pretty sure it is Moses Malone. So let's go Moses. And it was. The Memphis Grizzlies. Which team did the Grizzlies trade Sharif Abdul-Rahim in exchange for Powell? That would be the Atlanta Hawks, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think about it because I do have Sharif on my 2K, uh, my team. I think it was the Hawks. And it was. All right. The Suns. Prior to 2011, when was the last time the Suns missed the playoffs two years in a row? No idea. Let's say two. No, it's not 2002, 2003 because that's that's the um, Steve Nash era. 96, 97. We're talking about. Is that Charles Barkley-ish? So that don't really make sense. 2009, 2010. It has to be this one in the right corner. Yes. Use the process elimination. I had I didn't know that going into it, but I looked at the options and we made a conclusion. Which Blazer was selected with the higher pick in the draft? Uh, Evan Turner was the number two pick. Or was he number three? Number two or number three? Who is the only Wizard to win MVP, Rookie of the Year, and MVP in the same year? How many individual Nick players have made the All-Star team since 1990? Oh, my God. Okay. Carmelo. Obviously. David West? I mean, not David West. I'm David Lee, right? David Lee made an all-star game as a Nick, I think. 1990s. Stephon Marbury? Let's go three? Four. I'm missing somebody. I don't know who I'm missing, but I'm sure y'all let me know in the comment section below because y'all diehard Knicks fans know what y'all talking about. Which of these four stats does LeBron James not lead the Cavs in? Rebounds. I think he's close, though. I'm pretty sure he's really close. He'll probably have it by the end of his career. Come on now. Unless he leaves Cleveland this year, which is a strong possibility. Which player has the most all-star appearances for the Thunder slash Supersonics? Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Sean Kemp, or Gary Payton? Got to go with uh, GP. In 2005, the Spurs mascot was ejected from the, a game against Minnesota for being too aggressive. Okay, didn't hear about that. What was that? The Coyote? 
right? It's the Coyote. Um, which team has the only other mascot to ever been thrown out of a game? No idea. Uh, let's say it was the, the mascot for the Boston Celtics. Nope, it was the Watch the Bullets mascot. And in reality, I didn't even know that they had a mascot. True or false, the Bulls did not miss the playoffs anytime during the 1990 season. They missed it in 1999. That was the year that like Pippen was gone, Jordan was gone. We only had Tony Kukoc was our best player. And he was even late in his career. So that year we were complete. Tr that year we were complete trash. I knew the answer to that. I just clicked the wrong thing. So that's an L. Which of these players averaged the most points for the Magic during the 2010 playoff run? Jameer Nelson was a beast that year. I'm pretty sure that was his all-star year. Which city did the Jazz originally play in? New Orleans. And that makes the most sense. Utah's not known for their musical stuff. It's New Orleans. New Orleans has all these festivals and stuff. That's where the Jazz come from. Hey, dog in the background. It's New Orleans. Which former Clipper... Has the most Google search results. I'm guessing it's going to be Chris Paul. Especially right now because he was just traded, right? And everybody talk about Chris Paul because he is undefeated. As a Rocket. 14-0, I think. Something like that. That's wild. And Nico Miritich is undefeated so far this year at 5-0 for the Bulls. Chill, though. Let's, let's relax on those Ws. Detroit Pistons. Which team did the Pistons defeat in the 2004 Eastern Conference Finals? That was the Indiana Pacers. They had Reggie Miller, I think Rick Smith was on the team, Jalen Rose. A okay team, but they weren't great. Who was the youngest player to be involved in the Kings Raptor 2013 blockbuster deal? Not Grievous Vasquez, not obviously not Rudy Gay. Three, between Pete Pat and Quincy AC, but I think Quincy AC may have been a rookie that year or a sophomore out of Baylor. It was Quincy. All right, 10 more questions. Uh, which player was drafted by the Nuggets? In 2017, Donovan Mitchell. Yo, we're going to look back on this in 10 years and Nuggets fans are going to be heated that they traded away Donovan Mitchell for Trey Lyles. Which player has played the most Maverick games other than Dirk? Okay. I don't know who Brad Davis is. I know it's not Ronaldo Blackman or Michael Finley. So let's go Mark Aguirre. I think he spent 10 years in Dallas. So that only makes sense to me. And it was Brad Davis who, again, I don't know who that is. How many total points did Julius Irving score in his NBA career? He had to be around the 18 to 20K mark. And he was. True or false? As of December 15, 2017, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Karl Malone each have more career points than the New Orleans Pelicans franchise. Let's go yes. Yes. Yes, that's a crazy stat. Karl Malone and Kareem have more points than that entire organization has ever scored. I, th that's something we just learned today. Crazy. True or false, Tim Hardaway started every game he played for the Heat. I would guess so, because he was really good. Yeah, he was really good. Which of these Hall of Famers did not play for the Lakers? Robert Parrish played for the Celtics and then for the Bulls. So that only makes sense. Which former All-Star played two year two? Seasons with the Bucks, Alex English, and then he went on to be known as one of the best Denver Nuggets players of all time, one of the best NBA players of all time that we don't talk about much. Three more questions. What was the original name for the Nets in their inaugural ABA season? Now, I said I didn't know much about the ABA, but I do know this. Um, which of these players are not top 10 assists for the Raptors? Oh, it's got to be Terrence Ross. He played like, what, four or five seasons there? There's no way he's top 10 in assists. And even in those four or five seasons, he, he wasn't really a starter until his, like, last season. So, it's not Terrence Ross. Which player led the Hornets in all-time scoring? That's Dale Curry. Oh, that's the end. We got an 83%. Even though it should be higher because we did get that Bulls one wrong. We got it right, but I clicked the wrong answer. So, add that to my final score. I think we did well. We did well. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave it a like. Um, for comment of the day, let me know the least known fact about your favorite NBA team. Excited to read the comments for today. Thank y'all. Peace. Oh, yeah. One more thing before we get out of here. The newest episode of my podcast, Through the Wire, dropped yesterday. So if you missed it, links are in the description so you can listen to it and let me know on Twitter what you thought about the episode. All right. I'm done now.
I'm like the Bobby Flay and rap the way I play the shit Straight away, false moves and make you lay with fish Take a piss, my shorty hold it cause I sprain the wrist You know my style is full of utter death I'm dangerous, far and flow They try to detain me at customs Let me go, I had to cheat that I ran 